were to part a house when defeated. Romans 8 verse 31 to 39. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring us charge against God? Elect, it is God who just defaults. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who did who died, and furthermore, as also risen. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also makes intercessions for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written for your sake, we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet, and all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am persuaded and that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height or deep, nor any other created things that shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our glory. Where to find help? When conscious of sin. Proverbs 28, verse 13. Where to find help when visited? Romans 8, verse 31 to 39. Thanks be to God.